Now each of these pickles has been marinating in their respective solutions for 48 hours. So now we're going to open them up and see if there's any noticeable changes. First up is the excess baking soda solution. Uh, not really any noticeable changes on the outside. Still a pretty crisp pickle. I notice virtually no acidity there, and it doesn't have that bite that pickles usually do, and it's just a slight aftertaste of baking soda. So I think that worked in getting rid of the acidity of a pickle. Very interesting. Next up is a somewhat dilute solution of baking soda, so we're going to see if it had a similar effect to the heavy solution of baking soda. And again, I have to say that acidity is completely gone. I don't taste any vinegar and just a little baking soda, but yeah, I think it completely got rid of that acidic taste. Next up, we have three different levels of water mineral content. The first being just regular tap water. And with this, I taste very little difference, if any, from a regular pickle. Maybe slightly less of that vinegar taste, slightly less of that salty taste. Next, we have filtered water, so a little bit less mineral content, and a little bit higher osmotic potential there. Mm. For that, I can definitely taste it tastes very watery. That salty taste is almost completely gone. And, yeah, it tastes very fresh. Now for the distilled water, which has an extremely high osmotic potential. And that's very interesting. The pickle taste is almost completely gone. It's very watery. I don't taste any of that salty taste. And maybe only a little aftertaste of that vinegary bite. Now we have sliced pickles in distilled water. Uh, hopefully this will be another check for the distilled water. And also with that higher surface area, it'll give us an idea. So. If the distilled water is having that pronounced an effect, it'll be even more noticeable on the pickle slices. And that is surreal. That almost tastes completely like water. All you have is sort of that texture of the pickle. And I don't taste any of that pickle flavor, whether the vinegar, the salt, or the spices. Maybe a slight aftertaste of dill, but other than that, completely watery and a lot more similar to a fresh cucumber. Next, we have the real wild card of the experiment the cucumber juice. I'm not entirely sure what to expect, so let's give it a shot. That is very interesting. Um, you definitely get a lot of that cucumber flavor coming through, uh, but you still also have a lot of that pickle flavor and that pickle texture. Um, I get a lot of that saltiness, a lot of that vinegar, but then also a very strong cucumber flavor. So that does show that you can get the cucumber flavor back into a cucumber. So I'm thinking, Going forward, the way to go is going to be distilled water bath followed by cucumber juice bath. six days since that last experiment. I ended up leaving the pickles first in the DI water for about 72 hours and finally in fresh cucumber juice for about 72 hours. And based on the previous experiments, we're gonna give this a shot. That is truly unbelievable. Basically all of that pickle flavor is gone and it's been completely replaced with that cucumber flavor. Um, the texture is still a little bit like a pickle, but the flavor is just like a cucumber, and that sort of mouthfeel is just like a cucumber. It's honestly a lot closer to a cucumber than it is to a pickle. So you may be wondering, are there any practical applications for this? No. No, this was a massive waste of time. <laughs>